Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Brothers and sisters in Islam, welcome back to the inevitable journey. Before the break, we were stressing this fact that you becoming abd to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this world, willingly, before you become unwillingly a slave to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In kullu man fi samawati wal ardi illa atir rahmani abda. Allah is telling you that you're going to come to me as a slave anyways. Now, you're giving a period of time in this earth. You are given the freedom to choose to make yourself a slave to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by learning the revelation that he sent to you through the messengers and implementing it and calling people to it and be patient until you leave this world in doing so. This way, Insha'Allah, you will be comforted, Insha'Allah, in the hereafter, as we also mentioned, the comfort that you will receive in the graveyard. And that is why I stress again, we are not talking about the inevitable journey, or the hereafter, or death, just to make you despair, or make you fear. No, we want this to drive you to start working to prepare for these events. And subhanAllah, if you become a slave to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this earth, Allah will elevate you, Akhi. Allah will elevate you. And you will rhyme with the rest of creation. Look at this. أَلَمْ تَرَ أَنَّ اللَّهَ يَسْجُدُ لَهُ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَالشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمَرُ وَالنُّجُومُ وَالْجِبَالُ وَالشَّجَرُ وَالدَّوَابُ وَكَثِيرٌ مِّنَ النَّاسِ Haven't you seen that to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prostrate themselves? Everyone in the heavens and the earth and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala named al-shams, the sun, al-qamar, the moon, wal-nujum, the stars, wal-jibal, the mountains, al-dawab, the animals. Look, once it came to mankind, wa kathirun min al-nas. And a lot of mankind. And there is kathir, wa kathirun haqqa alayhi al-adab. And a lot of them also deserve to be punishment. Wa man yuhin illahu fama lahu min mukrim. And those who humiliate themselves by not prostrating themselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will never honor them. Brothers and sisters in Islam, look when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevated Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the Quran, he always attributed that elevation with him, making himself a slave to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhana alladhi asra bi abdihi, glory be to the one who taken his slave, his servant, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in a journey by night from Mecca to Medina and then ascension al Mi'raj to the seventh heaven. Also, Alhamdulillah alladhi anzala ala abdihi. All praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who revealed, who brought down in his slave the book, Al-Kitab. Look, this is, it's, it's exactly like you're walking in a very busy crowded street and everybody is walking in this direction coming your way and you're going the opposite side once you choose not to become a servant to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala look at the result of this in the day of resurrection Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells you in a hadith Qudsi that whoever fears me in this dunya I will secure him in the day of resurrection وَعِزَّتِي وَجَلَالِي by my glory لَا أَجْمَعُ عَلَىٰ عَبْدِي خَوْفَيْنِ وَأَمْنَيْنِ I will not gather on my slave two fears and two securities whoever is fearful of me in this dunya that fear does not which does not drive you to despair but the fear that makes you act upon the guidance act upon the revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah will give him security in the day of resurrection brothers and sisters in Islam Look at the duration of the day of resurrection, 50,000 years long. Fi Sahih ibn Hubban and also Abu Ya'la al-Mawsili in his Musnad, Hadith Abi Hurairah radiyallahu anhu, when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam recited the verses in Surah Al-Mutaffifin, أَلَا يَظُنُّ أُولَٰئِكَ أَنَّهُمْ مَبْعُوثُونَ لِيَوْمٍ عَظِيمٍ يَوْمَ يَقُومُ النَّاسُ لِرَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ The day on which all of mankind will stand before the lords of all that exists. He said that this day is 50,000 years long and they will stand for 25,000 years before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes 
to uh, uh, reckon and to call everybody to account. Look the duration of 25,000 years. Al Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it so easy for the believers that it will feel like the time when the sun is about to set when it finally sets. This, this is how much you will be honored, brothers and sisters in Islam. You see, the sun that we know in the day of resurrection is not going to be a sun that gives light. It's going to be a sun that gives heat. In the day of resurrection, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that there will be a lot of darknesses. Look, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, hadith Buraida, radi Allahu an, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Bashir al mashain fi al zulam bin nur al tam yawm al qiyam, ila al masajid bin nur al tam yawm al qiyam. Give glad tidings to those who walk at night to the masjids to pray fajr, maghrib, and isha that they will have light in the day of resurrection. Here is our actions, things that you can do. Security, if you fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this world. But the fear again that does not drive you to despair from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will grant you security in the day of resurrection. If you walk to the masjids at night, during the, the, the night time, go pray Maghrib in the, in, in the masjid, go pray Isha in the, Maghrib, in, in the masjid, go pray Fajr in the masjid, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you light in the day of resurrection. مَنْ يَسَّرَ عَلَى مُسْلِمٍ يَسَّرَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ If you make it easy for your Muslim brother, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it easy for you in the day of resurrection. وَمَنْ فَرَّجَ عَنْ مُؤْمِنٍ كُرْبَةً مِنْ كُرَبِ الدُّنْيَا فَرَّجَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُ كُرْبَةً مِنْ كُرَبِ الْقِيَامَةِ if, if somebody would make the, a distress of a believer easy in this world, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ease his distress in the day of resurrection. All of these things are things in our guidance, things in our deen that we could do which will enable us to be secure, to be safe, and to be receiving a lot of privileges. Enough that insha'Allah we will share with you that on this day they, there will be a lot of heat, the heat of the sun. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told you that there are seven things that you could do in order to receive the shade of the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You will be taken out of the crowd, out of that heat, out of that soaking sweat, and you will be placed under the shade of Allah, under the shade of the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hadith Sahih Muslim, Hadith Abi Huraira, Radi Allahu an, Sabatun yadilluhum Allahu fi dhillih, yawma la dhilla illa dhilluh. Seven kinds of people who will be shaded under the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the day of resurrection when there is no shade but the shade of the throne of Allah and the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam named Imam Adil a just ruler if you are in charge if you are responsible for people be fair a youth who was brought up in the worship and the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala two individuals two brothers or two sisters who loved one another for the sake of Allah just loved one another for the sake of Allah or someone who whose heart is hanging in the masjid or someone who turned away the whim, the desire of a woman who is so prestigious and so beautiful and called him to commit haram relationship with him and he said no I fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala someone who spent with his right hand in secret that his left hand did not know about it and someone who remembered Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by himself and he teared because of the fear and the khashya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all these things brothers and sisters in Islam are things that you will do in the basis of Iman مَنْ عَمِلَ صَالِحًا مِنْ ذَكَرٍ أَوْ أُنْثَى وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنٍ فَلَنُحْيِيَنَّهُ حَيَاةً طَيِّبَةً Whoever does righteous deeds female or male while he's a believer, he believes in La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah, he will have a good life in this world and he will receive all these securities in the day of resurrection. Brothers and sisters in Islam, now it's time to work because there is another side. Actually, we also know about Muslims, Muslims, people who actually said La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah, but yet they had major sins. And they were disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this world. And they will also suffer in the day of resurrection. In spite of being Muslims. Like 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us about those who eat usury. الَّذِينَ يَأْكُلُونَ الرِّبَا لَا يَقُومُونَ إِلَّا كَمَا يَقُومُ الَّذِي يَتَخَبَّطُهُ الشَّيْطَانُ مِنَ الْنَسِ He could be a Muslim and he will be resurrected like somebody is beating him down, like shaitan beating him down because he was dealing in riba. We also were told about a Muslim who does not pay his zakah, the zakat, zakatul mal. The money that you have, that you're supposed to pay charity, that, that supposed to give your sadaqah and zakah from it, the 2.5%, if it was wealth, if it was cash, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send to that person a snake that will bite his cheek and will chase him in the place of gathering for 50,000 years. And he will tell him, I am your treasure, I am your wealth. The companions asked the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, "What about the person who owned camels and sheep and cows?" Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that they would walk over him, they would stampede him for fifty thousand years until Allah subhanahu wa taala judge between people. What happened if he had silver and gold? Allah subhanahu wa taala will turn it into blades that will be placed in the fire and he will be burned by it. Those who do not spend their wealth in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will be exposed to, this, to these trials and these tribulations, tribulations in the day of resurrection. So again, now, it's your choice to make now, which of the two groups you want to be amongst? The group of the believers, those who made the commitment to the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those who entered into the paradise of obedience, and they tasted the sweetness of faith. Those who made themselves slaves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they always checked everything that they do. Is it according to Allah said, the messenger said or not? Or you want to be amongst those who follow their desires. Those who just wanted to enjoy this world. And they said it's just the life and we will die and we will never be resurrected. The decision that you make now, brothers and sisters in Islam, is so vital because it will affect your conditions in the day of resurrection. The next episode, do not miss the inevitable journey. We're going to talk about some of the conditions of those who made the other decision. They decided to follow their whims and their desires. Let's share with you some of the sufferings that they will have brothers and sisters in Islam and hopefully again that will drive you to decide to be a servant and a slave to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala till the next episode of the inevitable journey assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh the scale of justice will be broke before man now you shall have to explain your whole life span what you did in the open, what you conceived From big to small shall today be revealed Your deeds shall then be weighed in a scale This shall determine if you pass or fail, heaven and hell shall be brought into vision, Allah alone shall make the ultimate decision, to all brothers and sisters I'd like to say, forgiveness and do that today Huda TV strives to bring